When you log into your mobile app, the first thing you'll see are the projects which you have access to. To complete a daily report, select the project, and here you'll see the categories of your daily report. As you make entries throughout the day, there's two things that will automatically happen. One, those entries will populate a daily report PDF, and two, they'll sync with the web and populate your activity feed here. To add a contractor, you can hit the plus button, enter contractor name, number of workers, as well as the description of work. You can either type or dictate these entries using Siri. The contractor name will carry over each day until removed, while the number of workers will reset to zero and the description of work will reset to blank each day. To add a note, you can hit the plus button, type or dictate the note, and then tag it to the right category. To add a photo, you can either take the photo within the app or choose a photo from your existing photo library. The daily survey provides six questions to answer at the end of each day. Accident and delay questions are tied to notifications that project managers can sign up to receive. The task list allows project members to assign tasks to any member of the team. To assign a task, you can hit the plus button, type or dictate the description, and then assign it to any member of that team. Those tasks will remain an incomplete task list until marked as completed. When you're finished with your daily report, you can mark it as completed and then pull up a PDF of your report. You can review that daily report here, and if you decide to do so, send that report via email. If you ever need to jump back to a date to edit or finish a daily report, you can use this calendar button here and go back to any date in the past. All those revisions will be user time date stamped so that it remains as a legal document. You can also set reminders so that you remember to do your daily reports.